in this connection it is also necessary to point out that character role entries are recorded in annual confidential remarks of an employee by superior officer on the basis of appraisal of his work and conduct during the course of a year who has opportunity to look into the work and conduct of employee and such annual confidential remarks are further required to be approved by next higher authority as indicated in various government orders relating to the government employees issued from time to time whereas the punishments awarded to a government employee are always based on disciplinary action taken against such government employee unless there is specific service rule regarding placement of the punishment in the service record and the punishing authority in pursuance of such rules indicates that such punishment be placed in service record of employee and further such punishment shall debar deprive the employee for a particular service benefits to be accrued during the course of employment of employee in our considered opinion in absence of such specific rule debarring an employee from any service benefits such punishment can not automatically debar deprive the service benefits to be accrued to the employee normally under service rules applicable to the government employees of the state the legal impact and implication of punishments awarded to them have been provided such as dismissal and removal from service debar the dismissed and removed employee from post retiral benefits and certain civil rights on such dismissal whereas the punishment of removal would not deprive removed government servant from other civil rights except depriving him from post retiral dues and other service benefits likewise the reduction in rank does not debar deprive an employee from future promotion and other service benefits like post retiral dues similarly stoppage of one increment for particular period debars deprives the employee from financial benefit of said increment which is otherwise liable to be added in his pay scale on account of accrual of such increment if two increments of an employee with cumulative effect have been stopped such employee will not get the financial benefits of two increments which may be otherwise admissible to him in his pay scale thus the legal impact and effect of stoppage of two annual increments with cumulative effect would be merely that the employee or officer would suffer loss in payment of his salary to the extent of denial of two increments which would be otherwise admissible to him but for the said punishment he has been deprived of from said benefit of service thus in the service jurisprudence the employee who has been awarded punishment of stoppage of two increments would not lose the other benefits of service except the aforesaid financial loss in payment of salary therefore in our considered opinion the stoppage of two annual increments of the petitioner with cumulative effect cannot deprive him from other benefits of service including his eligibility and entitlement for promotion to the next higher post if he is otherwise eligible and entitled for such promotion